Um, I want to move a little bit. Um, I mean, this station, this show basically talks to the viewers, which are, you know, mostly Israeli viewers yes. and, of course, Jewish slash Israeli viewers. And a lot of them do reside in the city of Vaughan. Mostly in Thornhill, Concord, and the rest of the city, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a big... Yes. What can you, I mean... What do you think? I'm trying to word it very nicely. Oh, you can word as you please. <laughs> uh, I, I will have to give you an answer. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, th I mean, the last. I mean, I don't live in Vaughan, so the last time I remember, there were talks about, um, you know, when when the, the, it was introduced about the Jewish schools, you know, the Catholic school and the Jewish school, and getting funding, you know, for the Jewish schools, and you were not one of them that favored to support the Jewish schools, you know, to getting them getting grants from the government. You want to talk about it? it this, this is a provincial matter, and yeah. uh, uh, all the three political parties today are saying the same thing, okay. including the conservative. As you know, uh, they took a position after the election, not before the election, but after the election, that they wouldn't uh, uh, discuss this topic okay. any longer. So every political party at, at the provincial level is on the same channel. Does not want to talk about it. Uh, not only that, I mean, quite frankly, uh, the uh, education is a provincial responsibility. Okay. So uh, the city of Vaughan or the to town of, Mar or of Rich or Richmond Hill, in your case, doesn't have nothing to do with the funding of uh, uh, schools or education, whether that be public or private, as uh, as you suggested. Uh, but I can tell you something else, though. Uh, if you uh, look uh, at my past, uh, you will be amazed to know how much work I and other members of council, and I go back to mm -hmm. David Chapley, uh, 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 who was the first uh, council with me when we started working uh, to, to do something about uh, the Jewish school in Vaughan. Uh, a number of schools on uh, Atkinson, mm -hmm. there's two of them, then there's the Ebro, just north of there, mm -hmm. at, at their uh, location. All those schools got significant support from the city of Vaughan Council at the time. Mm -hmm. And that included me, included the David, then subsequently David included uh, Susan, and after Susan, sorry, and Bernie Green, my apology, yep. and then Susan, and now Alan. Uh, but all the work was done at the beginning. We certainly uh, did uh, do everything we could with the assistance of, uh, I believe it was the Jewish Congress was involved into mm -hmm. this, everybody and other was, leaders uh, involved, in the yeah. community yeah. to make sure that uh, land became available okay. at, uh, I don't want to say at a dollar, but close to a dollar type uh, uh, deal, whereby the community got the property to be able to build, and uh, the owners of those lands uh, also got the same benefits that they would uh, otherwise. And so it was a win-win for the entire community. Uh, we uh, went uh, out of our way, uh, quite frankly, okay. to accommodate those requests. And I was one of those, uh, because I was representing, of course, the area at the beginning with David Chapley and subsequently, as I said, with Bernie Green and uh, Susan. Uh, I never was together with Alan Shepman, but I know that if uh, that would be the case, he, we would be working on that topic uh, together. Uh, the city has no power okay. of granting, but what we can do, though, is uh, the uh, approval process, and we have done so. We also have the power uh, to communicate uh, the message with the people who own the properties and the community and try to find ways that uh, they together can find uh, winning solutions. And we did that with the school, and quite frankly, we did the same thing with the synagogue right on Barris, just in order of steel, yep. and many other projects, by the Fair way. Enough. So my record is quite uh, uh, clear. I have always well, been Well, I wanted committed. you to clarify it. And, and I thank you for that, because Perfect. I'm sure that there is some uh, confusion out there. Mm. Not only I was always elected uh, in Thornhill Concord, which, as you know, has the highest number of uh, uh, members of the Jewish faith yeah. who live there f from day one, quite frankly. And so I worked with the community uh, out of respect, out of my duty, yeah. quite frankly, because I represent the community, so I have to. But I also had uh, my own feeling on the matter. Okay. And quite frankly, I think I showed, and I will be prepared to debate this with anyone, anywhere, Good. if it's necessary. Good. So I feel comfortable about that. Good.